and welcome from the Lighthouse Cocktail Bar in Woodbridge. Um, thank you for last week and all your great uh, support on our raspberry daffy recipe. Uh, we had some lovely comments and suggestions for recipes as well um, through all our various platforms um, of social media. What we thought this week, we would take some of those um, ideas and um, put them forward. Um, and uh, if you're having a virtual cocktail party with someone for an hour um, or a drink um, online, maybe you can replicate and, and have a glass with them. We've got three cocktails tonight. We've got the Quarantini cocktail. Uh, we thought rather apt as we're staying in, in, inside, as we all know, for another at least three weeks, rather scary. Um, and then we've got another couple um, to follow of customers' requests. No further ado, let's get on with the uh, Quarantini cocktail. Uh, first invented in, I think it was 1939 um, by a Charles um, H. Baker Jr. and it was from a book called The Gentleman's Companion uh, where he was more of a travelogue and uh, food uh, writer going around the world and creating and uh, recipes and also um, recording uh, lovely things he tasted. So with the Quarantini cocktail, uh, very simple, um, we're going to do a reverse dry shake, which I'll explain later what that means, and um, also uh, uh, do a couple of others as we mentioned. So no further ado, what we need is uh, simply a lovely cocktail shaker and some great spirits to create this. So um, a few lumps of ice in your cocktail shaker, we then need to Put into that uh, some light rum, um, as you might have gathered, rum also can be a favourite of mine, about 45ml of that into your shaker, um, thereof um, some very good gin, I prefer to use Tank as my cocktail gin or Plymouth gin also as a cocktail gin is very good, 7ml of that into your shaker, a dry vermouth, similar measure of 7ml. Uh, You'll get the theme as we go along. So the numbers are quite simple to remember. Also a little bit of um, sugar syrup. Guess what, another seven mil. Into your shaker. And then um, some mango uh, and orange juice. Um, equal parts of this, seven mil of each. Um, so 14 mil of a mixture of mango and orange juice. Give it a bit of tropical flavour. You may remember as kids, if I do, um, I haven't tried it, but you might want to give it a go. Umbungo, we loved it as kids. Um, never really allowed it, probably full of um, the wrong sort of stuff, but um, has a similar flavour, I think, with mango. So any tropical to go into your mixer. There off, straightforward to shake. For about 10 seconds. Achieve that. We're just going to separate the um, ice from the juice and drop it into uh, some egg white. So this is a reverse shake. So any pith is going to come away, uh, any bits, and the ice goes straight into your egg white. So this is a reverse of a dry shake, basically. Uh, what you'd usually do for cocktails of this style, you'd do a uh, dry shake in your cocktail, mix it with the egg white first, before then putting the uh, remaining juice into it. But we're just going to go reverse, because generally it tends to give a little extra more foam to the mix. So about 15 on that, 15 seconds that is, on the shake, get a good foam to it. And that's done. Tap out. You should use your, usually use your coupe glass for this, but a martini glass equally will do. And voila, one lovely quarantini to start off our cocktail demo for. But uh, very nice indeed to enjoy and experiment with.
Now for our next cocktail. This is uh, a recipe that's uh, been requested um, by Helen. Um, it uh, was actually created in the restaurant. Um, Helen comes from uh, Dorset now um, and was a Twitter request um, to us to create uh, this wonderful uh, recipe of gin um, called Helen's uh, Basil, uh, Gin Basil Smash. Um, well, as you can imagine, um, a few of us were together and actually it's on our, on our wine list. Um, we decided to change it into Helen's Gin Basil Bush. Great cocktail bit of fun and great colour. So for that, three very simple, well four including um, gin obviously, uh, simple ingredients, straight back into your uh, cocktail shaker. A few lumps of ice. Um, used to be something called a Hulk smash to make this out, but um, uh, the simple form, form of this one is um, 50 ml of uh, gin, uh, we're using Hendrix for this. Picklings is my favorite actually, which comes from Edinburgh. Similarly will work, but uh, we'll go with the traditional recipe of 50 ml of gin, um, as it's uh, a party night, let's uh, dash more in there. And um, there are also, we need to take 25 ml of lemon juice. Extra good old sugar, sugar syrup, 50 ml and then a bunch of lovely fresh basil. Now, most people will say, what's a bunch? Um, be generous, basically. Um, if you're unsure, just be as generous as you like, because um, the whole point of it is it's gonna be a lovely smash um, of flavor. Then um, we need to put uh, ice into our glass at the ready. So uh, those are all mulling away. If you want to get extra flavour out of your basil, obviously you can mull it into the glass in advance, which will give it a nice extra flavour and take the basil uh, freshness out of it. And then a Hulk smash. Hulk smash, uh, about 15 seconds of real powerful smashing. do is give it a lovely freshness of the uh, basil coming out of, he says, can we get his lid off the uh, actual cocktail shaker. Then all we need to do, smells quite herbal, uh, <laughs> as you can imagine, is uh, strain into the glass, lovely fresh cocktail. The line on the side of that one and sprig of basil on the top. One basil, Helen's basil bush, created a way to enjoy. Uh, so that's to you, Helen, down in Dorset. I hope you can replicate that and uh, come back to us with a simple example also online to match what we've done this evening. Thank you very much. Cocktail of uh, the evening, um, always an ode to Keith Floyd. Uh, have a glass on the go um, so you don't get dry. RIP Keith, a uh, great man, uh, Mr. Floyd, although mainly food based, obviously anything culinary was uh, one of his faves. So always have a glass uh, just on the side while you're making these lovely cocktails. Um, this last one um, was uh, to a couple of requests. Um, one was from one of our um, dog followers, ironically, on Facebook called Jeffrey Hound. And guess what? He comes from Barking. How about that? Um, unbelievable. Um, but um, outside of that also was to uh, one of uh, great mates of mine um, who's just celebrated uh, one of his birthday this week. Um, so this cocktail is not only um, to uh, Mr. Jeffrey Hound, but also to uh, a good mate, um, Henry. So this is called The Aged Dog. A um, bit of a twist on this one. Got a tropical feel to it uh, and um, yeah, incorporating quite a few ingredients, but um, at the same time, real, real fresh flavours. So what we need for this one is um, half a peach, which is pitted um, into your uh, cocktail. 
shaker. We need then um, half a lemon. Uh, probably about enough for that one, I reckon. Um, then on top of that, what we need to do is a little bit of sugar syrup as usual, just to uh, have a little flavor. And six mint leaves into there as well. Fresh mint, obviously, into your shaker. So give it a nice fresh lesson. This one's quite uh, tropical as well. Um, it's not similar to the Quarantinian flavour, um, but um, using um, Contra and bourbon instead of uh, rum based and egg. Um, but all these really hopefully easy to put together and I'll put a, a fact sheet online where you can uh, remember and find all the recipes. What I would really love obviously is for you all to get involved Recreate cocktails uh, certainly for Jeffrey Hound and H Dog and Helen, and post your efforts online so we can all see how you went. Now, I nearly forgot the sugar syrup because I'm talking too much. Um, 15 ml again of sugar syrup into the shaker. We've got some, as I mentioned, half peach pitted in there and cored, uh, half a lemon, and the sugar syrup with also the mint leaves. What we need to do now with that is uh, muddle away for about uh, 15 seconds, get the nice juice out of basically the lemon, produce the peach and also the mint. So the mint gives it a lovely, lovely freshness, uh, a bit of chocolateness with obviously the peach and the zestiness of the lemon. What I'm trying to do each week, if we can, is vary up the uh, flavours, so obviously with the uh, raspberry daiquiri, it was a great sunny day. The reason for these cocktails, as I mentioned earlier, if you're doing a virtual cocktail night for an hour with some friends online, um, hopefully these are replicated and you can enjoy something different instead of a, a glass of wine or a beer. Um, and as I say, pretty easy to put together, I'd hope, as long as you've got the right ingredients at home, but uh, we'll give you a week to get that sorted for next Friday when you're all on your virtual um, relationships. Now, uh, what we did for this is um, some lovely balm. Um, I'm using wild turkey as a board. You can use JD, um, that's probably the more common one. We need 60 ml of that, but any decent bourbon uh, is what you need to really do and add into um, to give it a good, good flavour. Uh, you then on top of that need uh, 25 ml of Cointreau. That's all in. And then just something different to this one, uh, a bit of Paso, I know peach, passion fruit, um, just need a dash of Paso, which is a passion fruit uh, liqueur. Um, mainly you'll find the Paso is used in things like All Star Martinis, um, which I'm sure a lot of our customers will be uh, known to us who uh, love that uh, drink. Um, but we may replicate that another day. So uh, once all the ingredients are in, Straight in there with your rice, similar form to usual. We've got all our ingredients in there. Cocktail shaker on top. And then again, similar to a whole smash, maybe not as vigorous. About 15 seconds there again. Lovely fresh cocktail. I forgot the glass, excuse me one second. Back in stream. Ice cubes into the glass. And again, similar to uh, most of the other cocktails, is to strain away. And the mint flow in, but keeping the peach and obviously the lemon out. Decorate then with a nice, simple slice of lemon to go and lime to go in. Quarter up, lemon on the side, and there you have. Well, I would call it a ladyboy, but it's an H-Dog. So uh, there we go, a lovely H-Dog to celebrate uh, a couple of other great customers' requests. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this evening. Um, 
all great fun, all good cocktails that I hope you can make at home. Um, as always, uh, from Max and me, stay safe, stay at home, support the NHS, and um, hopefully here's to three weeks and not too much more. But uh...